Hello friends. Today I am presenting one more example which contains the IR data as well as proton NMR data. So how you identify the unknown compounding using these two data? So its uh, problem is says it contains C10 H12O and their infrared spectra strong band about 1715 cm. So it contains also aromatic compounds, proton, you know, five protons. It means it has benzene ring monosubstituted because it has five protons. So it has four signal means four type protons. So there is like aliphatic maybe here, somewhere is the ether or ketose because it contains oxygen. So let's start with the temperature shift. So, first we have this one is 1715 means is a keto compound. So, we look around the chemical shift about the keto. So, we see here the about 1.1, you will see here such type of the compound. We show the chemical shift 1.1. You see here. So, CH3, C, and CO. So, so typically between uh, metal group of uh, this keto system so we found that that is chemical shift near about this system so we have a triplet means it's split by two proton so this is a two proton we found two proton and triplet and this is a quartet we found that these three proton that's it quartet there is no other uh, triplet and quadrate in this spectra. You will see only singlet. We found that this combination, quadrate and triplet, and number of proton. This is a two proton. This is a three proton from integration. So this two proton split this angle shift methyl group triplet, and this is 2.5 here. You will see here CH2. So we found this combination CH2, CH3 is as a ethyl group which is attached to the keto. And we have 1715 IR band which is corresponding to the keto. So it is not possible if it has CO is there, then you have a is fine signal at 9 point something or 10. So and it has ruled out CO is there. We match the, the CH2 here and CH3 of the keto functional group. So we identify a one fragment like this. And second, we have identified the aromatics and it has five protons. So we substituted mono substituted. So now we have a ring and OCO. Uh, CH2 CH3 so you can watch my previous videos uh, which can we explain the how ethyl group is easily identified so I will explain a little bit more I mean uh, this is a triplet so it's split by two proton so two proton is here integration and this split by three and the chemical shift says attach here like uh, methyl group is far away from keto group and this is a quartet and split by the 3 methyl group so there is integration 3 methyl group and quartet and you will see here this methyl is here and this is which is attached to uh, adjacent to carbonyl CH2 so all these information we combine we say this is a, a CO CH2 CH3 group and one benzene ring uh, due to this phi proton right so why we rule out this possibility if this type of structure is possible you will get a singlet very nice and this is a triplet and triplet this type of combination is not possible and this type of combination is also not possible.
hopefully you get some multiplet here or maybe current end signal which is not appear so we rule out all these possibilities and give the splitting pattern to the given spectra so next we have a singlet so two proton is singlet means so something is like integral is 2 that, that's why I write as CH2 and this is not coupled to any proton that's why I got signaled so we insert a CH2 between the CO and benzene ring that's the only possibility of singlet in this molecule so finally for type of proton as a colored methyl group as a triplet and CH2 is quadrilet and this is singlet and aromatism so it's very ex simple example using the IR and NMR uh, you can watch uh, two or three lessons more on proton NMR how to reduce the structure from NMR I made a, a series of uh, two or three lessons on this on this uh, if you're not clear about uh, this lesson you can watch another lesson there's a link above for watching the a lesson which I explain in little bit more details. This is a very quick video for determination of the structure. So I will come with the 2D, C13 or IR or NMA or NOAS using these techniques how to use the complex stereochemistry and other molecules. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.